Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Now, if you know me at all, you know I love me some Travis Green. The Grammy-nominated gospel great is best known for number one hits like Made Away mm -hmm. and my absolute favorite, Intentional. You got to be intentional know, that's right. about things in your life. I recently got a chance to <laughs> chat with him about his upcoming album, Broken Record, and much more. Let's take a look. Here with the amazing Travis Green. How you doing? I'm good. Good. I'm grateful to be back. Hey, Amen. It's always good to see you because yeah. you're just so blessed and talented. <laughs> it's good to be, you know, in the midst of that. So let's talk about back to school. Yeah. Your son, Jace, Man. five years old. It's crazy. What does it feel like for you knowing what yeah. almost happened, yeah. what could have happened, and yeah. now he's in kindergarten? Yeah. How it's, you feel? It's weird. Yeah. It's weird. I'm, um, I'm pumped about it. He's, just growing up on me. Yeah. Um, I think what makes this year so unique for me is because I was five when my father passed. Yeah. And so um, looking at him and how aware he is, is like kind of reliving it. It's been 30 years for me, yeah. but now I'm looking at him, I'm like, man, this kid gets it. Like yeah. it shows me kind of what mindset I was probably at when it yeah. all happened with my dad. Absolutely, so crazy. absolutely. So but he's a joy. Yeah, that's beautiful. He's running the house. Yeah, Well, good. He's supposed to. Yeah. He's supposed Every to. time I leave, I say, you know, I got to go out of town. You know what that means? It means I'm the man of the house. Oh, I love it. <laughs> but you're teaching him yeah. to be that leader. Yeah. And that's always a beautiful thing. Speaking yeah. of being a leader, you and Jonathan McReynolds, James Fortune, just to name a few, you're like the new wave man. Uh, of gospel. Does it feel like a lot of pressure because of the old school? School and yeah. you guys kind of forging forward with I don't who you feel are the now. pressure. Yeah. I think for me, I think the pressure comes when you try to make it competitive. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you're trying to be something you're not. I'm really secure. My wife has helped me with that. As long as she's good, I'm good. Yeah. And um, you know, I, I just kind of chill and honor those who've gone before me. I know that I wouldn't have a chance if it wasn't yeah. for. Um, the stripes that Kirk bore, that yeah. uh, John P. Key bore, Fred Hammond. So I'm just standing on their shoulders yeah. and I, I love doing what I get to do. Yeah, absolutely. That's a beautiful thing. Uh, we got to switch gears a little bit. We got to talk about uh, the untimely loss of your yeah. friend, uh, LaShawn Daniels, who so many people who may not have known personally but yeah. knew his work. For sure. Can you talk about the importance of your relationship that you yeah. all shared and also his importance to not only gospel but pop, R&B, yeah, across yeah. all genres? Yeah, I mean, he was a he was a game changer, you know. Um, more importantly, he was a big bro for me. Um, his wife is amazing. Their son, um, they were with me a few days ago mm -hmm. with my wife and I. And um, I mean, it, it's one of those things, man. When Kurt called to tell me, I, I just I couldn't even move. You right. know, I, I couldn't believe it because anyone who knows Shiz, he he lit up a room. His personality was infectious and just big. He had yeah. a massive personality. He owned every room he was in. Yeah. He didn't care who you were. He yeah. just he just lit up and um and bringing that over into the church world was something that we needed. I mean, he a church boy, yeah. but he had been making impact for years with pop and so to have him in, in our studios and helping and teaching us and bringing over some of the things and, and pushing us beyond our own boundaries in, in the gospel genre yeah. which was fun. He'll be missed. And uh, we just want to celebrate him from here on out. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, it just reminds us like every day is an opportunity to absolutely live your best life. Yeah. And he sure. did that. For sure. All he maximized. Years. Yeah, yes. he maximized. So, yeah. Yeah. We, man, it, it's tough. Yeah. You know, I was with um, another friend of ours, John Gray, last night. and. Um, you know, just grieving and, and getting through it, but mm -hmm. leaning on each other. Yeah. And um, like I said, we're just going to really celebrate the good times and, good. and what he meant to That's us. That's good. Yeah. Well, as the pastor of Forward, Forward City Church, let's talk yeah. about how that church was even founded. Yeah. Talk a little bit about that, and then yeah. I'm going to ask you how you do it all. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's crazy is it was founded in Atlanta, Georgia. Mm. And what I mean by that is I was in the airport here when I really felt the call to start a church. It was the weirdest thing. I'm in the airport and I just feel like this burden. I'm like, what in the world? So I called my wife, you know, she's my best friend. Yeah. I was like, yo, Jackie, yo, you think we'll start a church one day? This is, you know, back in 2013. She was like, yeah, I've always known. I was just waiting on God to tell you. Oh. And we've been dating since like the college days. So, yeah. you know, we've been together forever. and. I was like, man, this is crazy. And, and so from there, we just prayed about it. We prayed about a name. 
uh, forward was like the first name that kind of came to us and we looked up this website. This is freaky. We looked at this website. It was forwardchurch.com. Uh, the church doesn't even exist anymore, but the pastor's name were Travis and Jackie. Stop it. True story. So from there, we was like... Oh, that's divine order. Yeah, it was like, okay, God, this yeah. is, you know, we, we're listening. Let's do it. And um, from there, we prayed about a city. It was Columbia. We've been there. Uh, we started church three years ago. It's booming. Um, and it, it's just crazy, man, to see what God's doing. And, and LaShawn was with us. Um, last weekend to celebrate our three years, and wow. Kurt was there, and Tasha Cobb was there, and so many, for Devon Franklin was yes, there. Yes. And so, um, what I like to do is I tell them I'm bringing the city to the country. You know, Columbia, <laughs> Columbia, so yes, I try yes. to bring in my friends yes. to, to make some noise there. But yeah. I love it, man. Yeah. I love it so much. And you're finding a good balance. I'm with, trying. Okay. I, I'll call it a rhythm. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yes. I, I won't really call it a balance because, yes. man, it's and it's rough. My wife, like I said, she keeps me on course. She's like, yo, yeah, yo, you could come home. Right. You know? right. <laughs> so I'm just trying yes. to find a rhythm to yes. get through it all. And right. um, but I love, I love the life I have, man. I'm, I'm really grateful for it. Amen. Um, I feel like my, uh, you know, something's crazy. My wife and I were in the car. And she said, how does it feel to be living in, in the dream? Mm -hmm. You know, this is all I ever wanted to do. And so to be able to inspire people and love people and not judge them is, man, I, I'm living my best life. That's beautiful. That's yeah. beautiful. Nice, oh, nice, that was nice. Super yes. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, I want more. Hey, I know you want more too. So we've got more. We've got more. Rashawn, sit down with Travis Green as soon as we return. Yeah. Those kids were beautiful. I know. Hey. October 11th, that's a big day, broken yeah, record. Yeah. I like the title of this. Tell yeah. me what, what's behind it. Okay, here's a quick elevator, oh. elevator pitch. Okay, um, okay. <laughs> so the whole idea, the concept is this idea that God is into broken people. Mm -hmm. He's not intimidated by our brokenness, but rather um, he's drawn to it. Um, it gives him a project. It gives him, you know, wherever there's a void, it gives him an opportunity to fill. And um, in pastoring, it's given me a different vantage point with people that, you know, I think there's a misconception that when people, conception that when people are in the church, they're oh. perfect. No, and I'm yeah, like, nah. you know, man, nah, people <laughs> jacked up in the church <laughs> right. too. Um, and so for me, is giving me another perspective of the grace of God mm -hmm. and how he's able to use broken people. Um, really, the whole idea came from, a broken record came from this guy in the Bible named David. Mm -hmm. Long story short, David is anointed by God. Uh, God calls him, um, pours the oil on him. He's chosen to be king. All that is great and all that is understandable. The confusing part is that God is not just Alpha, he's Omega. Mm -hmm. So when God anointed him, he knew that he would have an affair. Mm -hmm. He knew that he would murder somebody. He knew that he would be trifling and he would mess up for the rest of his life. But yet he still chose him, which tells me that God doesn't pick me based off of my performance oh, or right. based off of my perfection, but mm -hmm. rather based off of his grace and the big picture. Yeah. And uh, David wrote this verse in Psalm. He said that the, the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit and a contrite heart. Yeah. That's why God That's chose him, is. because he knew that he was broken. Anyone broken recognized that they still need him. I love your records. I love, I love everything Travis Green. He's intentional, made a way. Like, you have Man. big hits. Man. Do you ever feel like, ooh, how am I going to top that one? Uh, I did once mm -hmm. <laughs> after Made Away yeah. because just what it did around the world was crazy and so I had to follow it up with another album. Yes. And um, But my, the label I'm with, RCAI, they, they've been very, um, man, they, they get it. They get me and so they, the, our meetings are liberating for me and they told me, you know, don't have the pressure, don't try to redo anything, just be honest with where you are. Yeah. And that, just kind of relieve the stress and anxiety good, with good. trying to recreate something. Right. I know we're heavy, go heavy gospel in this conversation, but who else are you maybe you maybe riding to in the car <laughs> that you may be listening to? I like music, man. Yes. So, so I'm, who? It's going to shock you. No, go ahead. Justin Bieber, <laughs> Jonas Brothers. <laughs> I'm like, a sucker for yeah, you. I'm telling you, those boys, I'll be like, great record. I'll be like, y'all black boys is killing <laughs> this record. Man, so I'm, I'm weird like that. No. Just good music. Good music is good music. Yeah, I, I just like good music. Yes, and Justin Bieber's last album was yeah. just, it was classic. Yeah, it was a gospel album. Yeah, it was, it was, I was worshiping up in there. I was like, come on, Bieber. Yes. You're taking me in, man. Come on. <laughs> it was good. It was good. Okay, so Dove Award nomination for 
Gospel Artist of the Year. Now you've had noms and wins in the la in the past, but how is this one more special? It's cool, man. I think it's special because it, it speaks to um, what we do beyond just radio. And what I mean by that is this last year, you know, I was kind of in between records. So mm -hmm. we weren't doing real big radio pushes. I mean, we're putting out material, but for the industry to recognize that we're still grinding, even though it's between records, to me is really cool because yeah. we work a lot yeah. and uh, we do a lot. So yeah, to be recognized for that is, is cool. It's cool. It's good stuff. Yeah. Well, Travis, thank you so much. Keep being intentional. Thank you, man. And making a way for people <laughs> and doing it all as a broken record. Man, ah, you like I that? see you. I see you. Bars. That girl, bad. Bars, man. <laughs> thank you so much. Love you, girl. Travis Green, love you too. <laughs> All right, now. I had God. a good time you with that. You are hilarious, by the way. Well, thank you. Thank yes. you very much. Yeah. I appreciate it. So are you. I will, yeah. Very funny uh, young woman. Yeah, I like it. Little witty. So what would, you be, what would be somebody be surprised with as far as you, what record you might be listening to right now? Def Leppard, the Hysteria album, 1988. <laughs> uh, All the way through. Hurry up. You know, I will put a ZZ Top in there. Come on now. Yeah, hey now. You can check out Travis Green's new album, Broken Record, when it drops October the 11th. And the conversations always continue at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Thank you, Travis yes. Green. Awesome. awesome. I like a little ZZ Top. Yeah.